Tonight, nine more people arrested and facing charges of voter fraud. Those charges tied to the 2017 Edinburgh City election. This now brings a total arrested on those same charges to 14, and we're told more could come. Channel 5's Michael Scott is in our studio tonight with the latest on the investigation. The Attorney General's office is leading the investigation. They're calling this an organized illegal voting scheme. We looked into this story in April after we learned some folks who claim to live in Edinburgh didn't. They voted anyway. Tonight, the pieces are starting to come together. This time, it's Brenda Rodriguez, Belinda Rodriguez, Sotoceli Gutierrez, Resenda Rodriguez, and Jerry Gonzalez Jr. All five are charged with illegal voting. Four are awaiting arraignment. Each of these five people allegedly changed their address prior to the election. We told you about this in April after we did some digging. Eleven people claimed to live in this small home on Faye Street in Edinburgh. All 11 voted in the 2017 Edinburgh city election. A criminal complaint says Brenda, Belinda, and Rosendo Rodriguez changed their address to this home on Faye Street in Edinburgh. Adeseli, who actually lived there, knew about it and allowed it, according to a criminal complaint. Brenda Rodriguez was a campaign worker for then candidate for mayor Richard Molina. She was paid nearly $4,000 for her work on the campaign trail during her alleged stay in this house. She isn't the only one who was employed by then candidate Molina. Veronica Sines and Mary Aleman worked on Molina's campaign. According to his campaign finance report, they each claimed an Edinburgh address on that paperwork. The pair were arrested in May for allegedly changing their address prior to the election. A criminal complaint says Jerry Gonzalez Jr. also changed his address to a residence in Edinburgh, even though he really lives in FAR. We reached out to Molina by text message asking him if he knew about Brenda Rodriguez, Veronica Sines, and Mary Aleman giving incorrect information to him about where they live. Molina denies any wrongdoing on his part. You can read the mayor's full response on our website. You can also take a look at the criminal complaints. All five were arraigned today. Each was given a $10,000 bond. Now, of course, we'll continue to follow this story and keep you updated. In the studio, Michael Scott, Channel 5 News at 6.